I, I guess a music nerd question that I think would be interesting to know just, you know, on account of your close proximity, just like his friends and his artists who are, you know, uh, constant collaborators over the years. And, you know, considering how much jazz comes up as a topic on this LP, like generally between the two of you, would you say that your jazz tastes, you know, just like fans of the genre individually, like pretty much align or are there like certain genres or styles that one of you gravitates to, you know, that the other doesn't? Hmm. Uh, I would say X has more experimental, more mature, like 70s jazz, more progressive like, jazz. Like progressive fusion know. type shit. That too, but. Yeah, I'm more bebop, classic, old school, dusty jazz. He likes to study like all the legends, like the icons, you know? And I think, I, you know, I, I collect more obscure stuff. Oh yeah, but he's definitely like, you know, he reads all the autobiographies and goes in on it. You know, yeah. But uh, obviously, as both of you know, one of the interesting things about you know Miles Davis is that his discography expands like so many, you know, uh, expands upon so many of those different styles and tastes and sounds and you know forge new ideas in some of those you know uh, uh, genres himself. Um, are, you know, are there certain records in his discography that you guys disagree on personally or like, you know, favorites of one, but not so much the other? Uh. I think I'm more into the early stuff and X is more into the later mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, when Miles started getting funky with like Bitches Brew and stuff like that, that's the type of stuff mm -hmm. I'm into. Yeah, I like Birth Little Cool, like before his. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as, as we're like uh, talking about like, uh, you know, the Bitches Brew era, how far past that are we going? Like, are we going to On the Corner and we're going to like, you know, are, are, are we going into like the more new agey like, like spacious experimental like 80 shit or do we like pretty much stop at the 70s yeah more yeah just i mean i'm more into the the stuff before the 80s for sure okay. so, yeah yeah just uh uh just curious as to you know whether or not that's a uh sort of like a topic of discussion between you guys um but uh somebody asked, anthony somebody asked on twitter what was my favorite Miles Davis mm -hmm. album. I wanted to tell him this. I thought it would be a good time to say it. It's Blue oh, okay. Haze. You know, what I mean? ironically, you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Imagine that. But Blue Haze is super butter. It's my favorite Miles. And album. it's it's not. Uh, it's it's kind of an underrated one as well. Are, are there are there any other records in his catalog that you know you guys personally feel like doesn't get enough shine? I mean, obviously, like you know, Birth of the Cool and you know, Bitches Brew are pretty popular records, but are there, but he's got a pretty massive discography and a pretty massive catalog. Are there, you know, any others that you feel like are sort of overlooked generally? Nah, he got love for like everything he put out. Mm -hmm. I felt like you know what I mean. Like um, his stuff with Coltrane was you know what I mean before. Or, uh, no, that was the early column. I forgot. But his stuff with Coltrane, like steaming, um, working. Was it smoking? Smoking. All those were like, you know what I mean? No way, smoking wasn't one. Steaming. It was steaming, working, relaxing. Walking wasn't with uh, Coltrane, though. There was one more. I forgot. But those four were dope. And they were done like all in the same session, but they became four different albums. You know what I mean? Same same couple of sessions. Thank you very much for watching this interview clip over on TND Streams. To see the full interview, click on the video link next to my head or down below, or hit up the link to subscribe to the channel or see our Patreon page to support what we do and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process. Uh, Anthony Fantano, forever.